and welcome to the Taking Stock Wizards Financial Trading and Wealth Building Tip of the Week. Why have you said it with that crazy French accent, Patrick? Because what I'm going to talk to you about isn't about France. It's just that one of the apprentices is from France and he said something in a particular way. He says our, our manifesto. And he says it so beautifully that all the other apprentices recorded it and played it to themselves. And it has everything to do with today's email that I received. And the email says, why do you call yourself Taking Stock Wizard? Why don't you call yourself a trader? What's this Taking Stock Wizard? Is this some Harry Potter kind of thing? Okay. And I said, no, it's got nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with your identity and who you believe somebody is. To do with your perception of an identity. Now, I know that's kind of, what the hell are you talking about? Let me give it some, some, uh, something for you to grab hold of. Something that you can see. Something that resonates with you. Something that, you, that comes clear as a bell to you, okay? All the different modalities of speaking to somebody's different senses there, Patrick. Okay, so here's what I mean by that. Have you ever told a lie? Right? Does that mean you're a liar because you've told a lie? No. If you told a lie, that's about your behavior. If you are a liar, that's your, uh, that's your identity. To be something, a liar, means you're saying, that's who I am and I do this on a consistent basis. To say I lied means I did that behavior. Right? Now. If you say, have you ever stolen anything in your life? Right? Okay. Are you a thief? <laughs> Are you a crook? Are you a criminal? Is a different thing. So, if you call yourself stupid, have you ever acted stupidly? Yeah? Yeah, I was, I was really stupid then, wasn't I? Okay, cool. But if you say I'm stupid, I'm a stupid person, you're condemning yourself to act that way consistently why because your brain is hardwired for you to act consistent with your perception of who you believe you are at the level of your identity right now i don't want to be a trader i don't want to be a trader <laughs> and there's a very good reason for it it has everything to do with how you perceive a trader and how i perceive a trader i want to be a taking stock wizard and in a minute, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press pause. And I'm going to show you a clip from Sunday Insiders over my shoulder. Every week when we look at the markets, we take the best trades in the market. And I'm going to show you this little clip about why I explained why they no longer call themselves traders. Why they call themselves take and stop wizards. And my guess is you'll probably start to think about, hmm, maybe I best stop calling myself a trader. I wanted to be a trader. Because that identity of a trader is aligned with your perception of how you think most traders are and that perception of a trader is either going to cause you to be consistently be inconsistently profitable or that perception of a trader particularly a retail trader will cause you to make a fortune and then lose it so i'm going to go then i'm going to press play and i'm going to leave you this clip and then I'll see you in the next video from here at Taking Stock Head Office. From me, Patrick Stockhausen, one of the Taking Stock Wizards in our community, where we're consistently taking action and making money in the markets. So let's press play, and then here you go. Before we continue, let's all say this, right? I'll say it for you. I am a Taking Stock Wizard. That is a statement of identity. Okay? The Taking Stock Wizard. Who are, who are you? Who are you? You better get used to calling yourself. So if you start saying, I don't think of myself as I want to, I'm a trader. I'm a trader. Right. And then if I say to you, and I see this a lot, and I say, what's the average result of a trader? And you say, oh, that most of them lose money. Well, that's what's going around your mind. And if I say to you, what's the average taking stock wizard getting? And you say, well, most of them are consistently profitable. Then that's what the result you're going to get. Does that make sense? Do you understand that? Yes, I, I, I think of myself slightly as a trader, but not really a trade. I don't think of myself as a trader because the average trader, I think, is a freaking financial loser. Okay? So you got, Aaron, you got that? Okay? So average traders are financial losers. So I don't want to identify with that. 
I don't want to be associated with that because that's what goes around my mind. You say to me, oh, yeah, that was true. Now, if I say to you the, fo the following thing, type this in. Be honest, right? Just type this in. If I say the average trader, how much money do you think the average trader's got? Just type it in. Just type, let's have them to see some answers. Okay. How much do you think the average trader's got? Okay, right? Okay, got some answers. If I say the average hedge fund manager, how much money do you think they've got? How much money do you think they've got? The average hedge fund manager. Right, look at the vast difference in the money that you have, okay? Look at the difference in your mind. Okay, if I say a, how much do you, if I say, how much do you think the average property de developer is worth? What do you think? What do you write? The average, you say this is, a, this is a property developer. How much do you think they're worth? They say, I'm a property developer. How much do you think they're worth? Just in your mind, what do you think? What do you think on average? And now if I say to you, how much do you think the average trader is worth? What do you write? What do you write? How much do you think the average trader is worth? The average trader. Average retail trader. How much do you think the average retail trader is worth? Look at that. Can you see? Right? You all right? Do you see? You've all, you've all written the average retail trader not worth that much. Right? You all said the average trader is not that successful. You've all said the average property developer is worth a few, from, from 1 million to 10 million. And I said the average hedge fund man. You, when I say to you, and if you call yourself a trader, do you understand that's what you are identifying with? What, how you perceive that person? Okay. There is a reason why I created this. Right? That's why we have our manifesto. You're a taking stock wizard. A taker's not widgets is a financial self-wealth developer. They take stock of their financial mindset. They master. Now, listen, think about this logically now. How much do you think somebody who does this is worth, right? Let's imagine there's somebody, okay, you see that person there? They are a taking stock wizard, okay? You see, oh, let's imagine I said that person there, they master their financial mindset. They take stock of their financial mindset. They develop themselves. They, these, that person there develops and masters themselves in relation to the principles of building wealth in the markets. They define and create their financial future. They are making a financial difference and creating the financial legacy. Um, they understand that frequency of opportunity is, right, stop right, typing your answers, right? Do you understand? If you saw somebody who did that, right, how much would you think, how much would you think that person was worth? You, I said, that's what that person does. They take, they know that the capturing the longer term trends, the dicks, the, the creating. See, look what you're writing. That's why I say you are a taking stock wizard. Stop calling yourself a trader because that is doing you in. Do you get that? Your identity. You don't get what you want. You only get more of who you are. You are a taking stock wizard. Okay, that's who you are. You're a taking stock wizard. I like that. That's good. You like that? Good. You apply your Sunday insider wisdom. You consistently grow your wealth and your income. You take charge of your financial mindset. You master the principles of building wealth in the markets. You define and create your own financial future. You are building a financial legacy. You're only 100 trades away. You are taking stock. Boom! As Michael says, I like that. That's good. Right, there we go. Hi, it's Patrick Stockhausen here. Did you enjoy this episode? Good. Because if you did, there's two things that you can do right now to continue your journey. The first thing is, you can subscribe right here, right now, to my channel on YouTube. And I'll keep sending you on a regular basis, on a weekly basis, in fact, information powerful information to transform your trading behaviors and transform your wealth and trading mindset plus you will get specific things that you can do to become a consistently profitable trader and all you have to do is press subscribe right here on this youtube channel to get that information sent to you every single week the second thing that you can do this right now is you can go to takingstock.biz sign up for any of the priceless free trainings when you subscribe you're going to get literally hours of priceless free trainings update 
bits of my latest findings what will empower you to create the results that you desire and everything else that we do not do on this channel. If you'd like to do that, just go to takingstock.biz, B-I-Z, do that now. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Till then, empower your mind, empower your financial life so that you can live your version of an inspired life. Take care for now. Bye-bye.